In the 20th century, it was you were either capitalist, nationalist, or you were a communist. Do you understand? These are two different schools. My point is, and this is what I'm trying to say to you is, what is happening right now, this vacuum that whole of Europe is thinking, oh, populism, let's go, let's go national again. You know, it's not going to work. Uh, and I don't know how you you're going to solve it. It's a reaction. It's a reaction. Because that's a vacuum that has I don't know how existed. you're going to solve it as well. Because liberalism has caused. You can't force people to be fathers. See, the whole thing with Islam, well, I know you There are like, ways you can give financial incentives. And that's not no, working. No, but I'm just, listen, listen, look. They're doing it in, for in, example, in, yeah? in, 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 in Sweden and they've been trying to force people to have more babies, incentives. It's not working. For example, it's, yeah? It's here. It's for in example, here. Let me give you an example. They, they haven't let, let, let me give you an example. They haven't been doing that in Sweden. Yes, Google it right now. Let, well, let me well, give you. I, 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 I actually read. I read. A lot. Let, let I read me give you example. Yeah, in Islam, yeah. Well, I try to read a lot. Anyway, I'm never gonna the reason done. why you have such strong, young family. Look, in Islam, yeah. I guarantee you, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. You will You're not fight. You're already my brother. You're from the Congo. Yes. Why have you adopted Islam? Europe, innit? I was in Europe, grew up around would Muslims. You, would your brothers in the Congo, what, how would they see it? He doesn't give it to her that, pressure. That, that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a population of Muslims in Congo as well, historically. But do you know why I know you're not going to... That, that, <laughs> that I think is going to be very hard for you to solve your problem, yeah? See Islam, yeah? As a convert to Islam, it solves so many different things. For example, as a Muslim, I don't listen to music, yeah? I don't have girlfriends, whatever that is, hang, girls that I hang around with. And so forth, yeah, like it's segregation. So what I'm trying to say is that you can't just force people to be fathers. It, it has to be yeah, something. You can do that. No, I tell you, I tell, I tell you why. I tell you why. Because when you you live in a country that's a secular, capitalist, atheistic country, and you pump into men's mind that a definition of a man is how many material things he's got, how big he is, how many girls he slept with, and stuff like that, and that you only live once. There's no day of judgment. There's no palace. There's no cell fire. Mm -hmm. A man's definition of being a man with the lads. Listen. It's just, I agree with you. So, so what I'm trying to say to you, look, what I'm trying to say with you, with Islam, it has so many things here that if you sleep, sleep around with girls and stuff in a community, you're looked down upon. If you have babies that are married, you're looked down upon. We don't listen, we don't watch all these music videos with women in beauty courts and the man got bare girls around him. So what I'm trying to say is that you can't force people to be fathers. And if the, the, if the brainwashing of being a man and sleeping around is more than a spiritual, how can I say, um, Conviction. Conviction and. Um, no, I don't disagree with So, you. what I'm trying to but say is how. Islam, so, how. No, why. It's possible to live like that. I'm saying with, to you. Just with knowledge about how the world works. So, why aren't your men doing that at the moment? Why is Ooh. my. Because they've been led astray by, by degenerates, things in the media. Is and, it, and, and, and a capitalist, secularist, atheist society is, is winning, isn't it? Yeah. So, I'm well, saying. I wouldn't call England an atheist country. But anyway. what, what I mean is, is that this yeah. whole YOLO thing. That's what I mean. You only live once, so get all the girls you can now. So what I'm trying to say to you is that, what is going to change it? Bro, it's more, to the, it's more than just, uh, I want to have a no, girlfriend. I know, but I'm asking it's you, it's the, it's the, whole, the whole YOLO lifestyle, I'm saying, what is going to change that? Becoming aware, people, people no, like that, it's a rhetorical think, question. They only think like five years in the future, but if you think like, say, a hundred years or five hundred years in the future, and then live your life, Sort of with that in your mind, that will leave you. It's sort of like living with a higher power, but it's more. Mm. It's similar to that. You know, you live your life in a different way. So you like you start. People just start like working out, doing exercise. And, yeah. Also, the media is, is another problem. Like. Did you Did you guys hear what happened to Toys R Us? Right. What? Toys R Us went bust, didn't it? And recently. This, yeah, yeah. And the yeah, the, 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 so the CEO, powerful. you know what he says? He, he blames the millennials. Because phones, because they had, they don't want to have children. They want to have a career first, and then they have children later. So another thing is, people put very money interesting in the, uh, the GDP as the, as the center of their moral philosophy and, and, and achievement. That, if yeah. you put money at the center of everything, yeah. you should actually put, you know, human value, you know, human happiness in the center. Because mm -hmm. the way it works now is that there's people view the country as just merely economic units. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, that's like part of mass immigration. Like you have, say, people who work in a factory, and yeah. they have these people that come over, and what it basically means is that, well, these people could do your job for cheaper, for longer. Basically, yes, yeah, it's people's capitalism. You know, bro, I agree with a lot of stuff that you, you say, and also I, I fully see your perspective, you know. It took me a while, a lot. It was a paradigm shift. You know what I did? I went on YouTube, uh, I was watching uh, Jordan Peterson, 
I was watching all these guys, I was watching even Tommy Robinson, and I was just listening to what they were saying. And if I was white, I understand your perspective. Do you understand? I understand your perspective. But it's not as simple as that. You, it's like you're looking at history just from like one angle. You, 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 you're missing up the whole entire angle, and that's the problem that I'm you're in. I'm not even a massive fan of Tommy Robinson. No, no, I'm not just yeah, saying. I'm not just saying people are. I, I train myself to understand your plight. It's very difficult, you know. It's very difficult for a human to understand how it feels to lose a leg when he's never lost a leg. Do you understand? So the plight that you are facing is a very, very difficult plight because there's so many variables that you're not willing to accept. For example, the conversation we had early on, you know, about colonization and about just being human as well. And, you know, human interactions that happen in the past that you don't want to see as, you know, things like that, you know. And, and I'm, a, I'm a religious person and I also believe that, you know, certain things that you do, uh, there are reactions to it. So when certain things happen to a people, sometimes it's because what the hand has sent forth. So what is reoccurring to you right now might be, might be to do with what happened before. Do you accept that? Do you hear what he's saying? That's my... Uh, I, think, I think you kind of agree. No, well, in the sense of you said that the biggest problem with uh, enslaving other people... I actually do, because yeah, it's yeah. come back to bite us. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, Karma. That's, that's why I say it, is we both people have lost out. Yeah, I think that the, the, the people of African descent have lost out much, much more than the European. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're well, way up. it depends nowadays, <laughs> you know. Because they have the same quality of life as... Oh, come on. Well, no, is, no, no, you can't. No, no. There's still a lot of psychological... Um, and you no, think they have the I same life they had before slave, before you robbed the country? Right now, today, every African has a smartphone, oh, has the same thing, as, the same how, quality of life. As, <laughs> how could you say, how could you say that we went and raped a country, yeah, and you pillaged it, and you were in the same position as point, you was before? Look, point. let me show you, let me, you're wrong, I'll tell you what. I grew up in this country in school, yeah? Even psycholo psychology. That's another problem with. No, no. That's what I'm, saying Look, I'm going up to school. You're taught, you're taught, right, as a white person who grows up in this country, yeah, the Greeks, the Roman, all the greatest philosophers, the scientists. I'm taught in class, my history, you was a slave and you was freed by Wilbur Wilberforce, whoever he was. Yes? Okay, if we're both in that class, yeah? My self, whose self-esteem is going to be higher? I understand. Higher? This is another problem of why... I don't want you just to understand. This is another problem of the whole situation. But, no, but, okay, so like, what I'm yeah, trying to say to you, you can't say... And I, I'm not even in Africa. So I'm, not, I'm in England. Yes? I'm not even in Africa. I'm in England. Yeah, and, this is another and, and him. So what I'm trying exactly. to say to you... So and how has it affected you? Do you think it's that, you know, if you have Africans who think that, you know, have this sort of want of revenge, you know, they, they have this... This listen, listen. Bro, they just want but, but, but what, 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 what revenge? So let me explain it. What, what, what revenge are you talking about? Yeah, they, they understand. They <laughs> He's nervous about the revenge. I'm not, I'm not nervous. It's, it's, nervous like you were saying, it's like you were saying, you get taught that you were slaves and then you said you, you felt, well, I don't know if you felt angry. I'm super But I didn't feel angry. angry. I'm saying. And then if you have people like that in the society. Explain what your revenge is. I wasn't angry. I wasn't angry. I'm saying to you, if we're, if we're, if, if we're both. It's like, the, it's like the argument, oh, we bombed them. So no, they it's not us. that. No, it's not yeah. that. If I'm in school, I'm talking, you said that the people in Africa have the same, it's the same uh, same level before the robbery and the, the pillaging and the, and the conquering by the, the England and so forth, yeah? I said, no, it's not. Islamic slave trade about 10 times bigger than the European yeah, that's a myth, that's a myth. Listen, but listen, bigger, listen, that's a myth. go ahead for the fight exit. We're talking about England, yes? So, like, you're saying that you got taught about European... But it's not wrong slave. anyway, is it? It's not wrong, is it? Is it wrong? Is it known as the Arab slave trade? Well, listen, is it, is it wrong? You're trying to head for the no, fight exit. Let's stop it. Look. I know that slavery still goes on to this day all around the world. It's bigger than the middle of the point. You said Britain was the first to end slavery. The point I'm trying to say to you is... The point is, it still goes on to this day. Do you agree? Do you agree? You were saying that Africa, that they're in the same state before the... The, the, it was conquered, yes? You're saying the standard of living. You said the standard it's the same. of living. I'm saying Africans in the West. Yeah. You said the quality of in, in the West. So he has to clarify it. No, not in Africa, in the West. In, like the West. in this country. Uh, or in America. Well, uh, how, many, how many black friends do you have? Not very many. Alright, so you haven't had a conversation about them? I have, yeah. And they've told you that my, my lifestyle is similar to yours. He said, yeah. Well, then you're in the apartment, you can go out to as many black people. And I, they I lived said, in Croydon, it wasn't a nice area as well. Well, either or, I suspect if you There's a lot of fish people that live in Croydon. They will not say they had the same life as you. I suspect they might still say the same. I think now you've changed it. You said in Africa, now you're saying. No, Europe, I said Africans, Afri no, I said Africans in Europe. The quality of life is a lot better than then, in Africa. Yeah, but they had empires before that were a lot nicer. 
don't you think? Even if it was Africans in Europe, it's still it's about psychological. Can I ask you a question, yeah? Who was the richest man that ever lived? It's a guy from Mali, apparently. But oh, black guy. Besides the point. It was a black guy. Yeah, so he as a race realist, no, it, he like really is, is white. So, okay. Yeah. Okay. And maintaining. No, I'm happy you the answer to that. Yeah. So, so it, trying to trying to hit like a moral compass from from my history of talking to a race realist, it's not gonna it's not gonna happen. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that, that's the reality. What I say, and this before I move on, it's very important that we talk to people like this because this is this is a better conversation to have rather than people who, who keep it in and don't tell us how they really yeah, feel. Yeah, cool. Now people like him get in power and they put policies forward. Yeah, yeah. that's, that's that, problems. That, that, well, that's, it's best to know how yeah. to feel so you can try to have a, a count on that. I'm all for that. Cool. that but yeah. all I would say to you is, is that I understand people your... People like me are the future. Like, I'm, I'm 16. <laughs> like, yeah. You know how many people my age like, agree completely with me? I, yeah. I, see, yeah, I, I'm telling you, yeah. time is coming. Yeah, yeah. but this is yeah. letting us... But this is the first thing that's known. Let him speak. Let him speak. Let him speak. Let him speak. I'm not arguing with him. I'm, listening to him. I'm not. I'm listening to him. Guys, I'm listening to him. To him. Yes, I'm not I'm listening to him. I'm young. I came onto this scene already divided. Right? I know. And you're going to the Harvards, and you're going to the Oxfords, and you're going to in, in the future you're going to set policy to keep our asses in check. He said that confidently. So what you say to? So you're letting us know. Yeah, the time will come. Yeah. If, if it's not, people are See? Wow. Let him talk, let him talk, let him talk. I'm letting him talk, I'm not quiet, stopping, quiet, how quiet. am I quiet. stopping him? No, yeah. Yeah. Say, 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 say. 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 When, you know, when the yeah. tables will turn, <laughs> it's not going to be good. No, <laughs> for who? Okay, for everyone. Yeah. For everyone yeah. involved. Here's Including white right people. <laughs> right, let's say come Ramadan, right? Yeah. And all these bombs start going off. What are you talking about? Which happens, right? Which is going to happen. And then say there's riots in the streets from the white community. Then what happens? Say, say it gets bad. Like, but that's not a solution. I, I, like I, I don't know when bombs went off in Ramadan. Revolutions never when work. When did bombs go off in work. Ramadan? You need to I'm know this. I'm not talking about revolution, I'm talking about civil. Yeah. There's good, there's a gonna civil be war is a revolution. Listen, listen. Yeah, yeah just remember you're a minority. That, that, <laughs> when another one you see that train of thought. You know that train of thought that you, 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 you're pantering? Uh, it's exactly what Tommy Robbins said. That's what Tommy Robbins said. That's below the belt. You know what Tommy Robbins said? You're the future. You're 16. Let's speak. But the tone has changed. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Above the belt, above the belt, yeah. Come on, ding, ding. You see what you're saying there? It's not going to help your situation. I'm warning you. Did you hear this, Raven? Raven, did you hear this? In England, you have 1.2. He's warning you. In 200 years. This, we exactly. overpopulate. How are you going to do Somalis that? alone are going to outbreed you, bro. Forget, exactly. forget that. <laughs> Trust me. Uh, this is the exact problem you're I'm pointing out. No, but you're problem. saying to Do you know what's sad, yeah? You seem like such a nice guy, and we was having such a, a nourishment and beneficial. We were learning of each other and stuff like that. And then you come out with, and I know, it, like Raven said, it's good to let you speak because you can't let these people speak because you don't want them to go underground and then go to Oxford and Cambridge and all this stuff. And then, become Prime Minister, I understand that. But then your tone changed, it was like, and it's not going to be nice, when the bombs start going off in Ramadan, and the whites don't like it and stuff like that, it's not going to be good what for you. you think is happen, but like? is that a solution? Well, I'm not worried, Daki, I'm not worried. Is that a I don't, look, you know, remember the Portsmouth Green bomb? Yeah. My friends were on that train, that's one Do you think I was happy with school. that? I know, I understand, but like, it's all, the threat is always there. Like that's, that was, was you know my ancestors were in Africa. You went over but, there like, and the you robbed is, it. Yeah. It you remember? You know my ancestors were in African like, and you went over there and you robbed them and you yeah, raped them. Yeah. Lynching black people. Yeah. So Parsons yeah. Green in Africa. Parsons. So Parsons Green. Let's yeah, weigh it up. No, I understand. I understand. They will never see. I've spoken to many and they will never see them. But it's okay. We're okay. But anyway, bro, we're here anyway. So get comfortable. I understand. We're here. We're going. We're going to slip into K. Bridge, we can slip into. No, uh, listen, we're gonna get into the Conservative Party listen, and the look. You start bombing thing and destroying no, things. You have to build. Me. Build yourself. It's not me. Yeah. Know yourself. Yeah, stop the party. The situation what we're in things? right now. Huh? What is like last situation? Ramadan, there was what? How many? There was about twelve attacks, right? Where? Where? In London, around London and Manchester. In London? No, it is London. Why are you surprised man's going straight for the bomb? It's it is London. <laughs> in London. Is there was. You were watching Fox News. I don't no, think he was. No, but there was an attack on the Muslim guy. There was an attack right at the mosque. The one yeah. that said, you see, this one trying to say, like, let's face reality, innit? At the same time, they were. Like, there's going to be a point where there's going to yeah, be but, a stronger but, reaction to some of these attacks. I understand, but then. But you know what the problem prior, is? Prior to that, there were three attacks yeah, by no, Muslims. I'm, 
uh, London Bridge and uh, what was it? London Bridge, the other one, uh, Westminster Bridge. Westminster Bridge. You know, usually is this good? I understand, but you know, how usually around Ramadan. What do you understand? Why do you guys say what I said to you just now? The point. What point was I actually sure. trying to make to you? You didn't listen. You see? I, I'm not sure what you meant. Okay, the point I'm trying to make to you is this, yeah. Whatever you, your, the prophecy that you made here, okay, is not a glorious prophecy. It's a, it's a, a prophecy of defeatism. Do you understand? The white race is not going to win that way. Well, you have to do because you understand no, the problem. That's not what I'm saying. Let's look, okay. look at the reality of the situation we're in, yeah. okay? There's already, like, starting to get these movements, like with Tommy Robinson. That's mm. already happening. So mm. usually around Ramadan is when the attacks start picking up. Like, there's, there's about a dozen last year. There's going to be a time when there's going to be a lot in, in one Ramadan. And but then, you know the huge problem. And then there's going to be a strong... People are going but to you know the huge problem the with this? You know, you know the big problem with this analogy? Most of us, most I of no, 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 us, no, it's not because it's not of that. You know the, the majority of people, yeah? The majority of people in London, we grow up in, how can I say, working class, middle class things. Asians, Africans, like, can, I can, I, can, I just, can I just finish it? Asians, Africans. No, no, what I'm trying to say to you. You know, Oxford no, Street. No, no. How many times in Oxford Street is there a false alarm? Well, well listen to me. You, you, you're, you're understanding oh, why you're probably. Like, you know why, that, that you know why you're probably. We live here, bruv. We live here. But what I'm trying to say to you is, you know the way you, this, this analogy is not going to work? Because most people, yeah, in this country, Africans, Asians, Jamaicans, Indians, yeah, even Polish, Algerians, Moroccans, we live by. by next to each other yeah we boil sugar from each other we take each other's kids to school so do you know what when you put all this terrorism crap on tv no one buys it apart from no one buys it apart from the white people that don't mix with the ethnics so the whole thing is is that so so the reality is the reality of the situation is that most ethnic people mix with muslims so they don't buy this crap about most muslims are terrorists so yeah you may have some free white people excuse me i'm telling you go tooting go Ealing, go and want to say the, the majority of ethnic people who are not Muslim do not believe that Muslims are terrorists. It's only white people that watch BBC, ITV, Channel 4 and don't mix with that ethnics. That may be true, but, but it is true. It will become Ramadan. Next Ramadan will come. Let's, let's, so, let's take away his saying. Listen, bro, this is what you're saying, yeah? Because you said, because you, you included yourself in it, you said, I'm the future. I'm giving you advice here. What you've done, you've done the first step and it's an amaz amazing step. You are surrounded for now, you've been surrounded and you are a minority here, yeah? And you're still voicing your opinion. You were standing for what you believe in, yeah? What I'm trying to say is, it's a dialogue and it's a discussion. That's what we have to have, okay? And then what you, what you do is, from whatever you've learned today, you go back to your people and you tell what you have to do. Get married. Okay? <laughs> One of them. Exactly. exactly, but this prophecy, that, well, no, it's, it's not. This is look at the, where it's it headed. is a prophecy look because where, you're where, saying where it's you going to happen. Saying? Listen, you whatever. It's, right, here's the thing: people are getting yeah. quite like people. Everyone has a smartphone. Everyone has a TV. Like, yeah. is it getting easier to do the basic necessities of life? Yeah. Like buy a house mm -hmm. or start a family or yeah. get married. Well, that's do, just do you think it's getting easier? It's to getting do harder. That? Yeah. And pe there is this. It's going to reach a point where maybe there'll be in some sort of economic collapse or major attack or major social. No, 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 that's Tommy Robinson there, bro. He no, talks I, about I'm that. Not. Tommy Robinson always, oh, there's a brink. The working class, they're going to go crazy. They're not going to take this I'm anymore. Not, I'm not Stop. really a fan of Tommy Robinson. No, no, Have but you well, that's, you, you, you're you exactly you, doing that. That's what you're doing. You're you, you you pandering. You've heard this talk today, yeah? Yeah, yeah? So it affects you. You know it affects you. Even if you're not, like, you're not intending to That's not to where I got it from. No, I don't think I, this. He's a race realist, so wait, 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 the race war. You want can race I just war ask you? Can I just ask do you? Do you believe you that immigrants are taking the jobs of people in this country? That's not why I believe. What I believe. No, I'm, yeah. anyway, I'm asking yeah, you because you. Yeah. Hold on, you're hold on, listen, I'm telling you, no, yeah. What? This is not a fact. When you, I work in security. I've been to many different buildings. Yeah, the cleaners in that place, yeah, are not English people or black people that work that live What's in this country. I'm so saying, saying that okay, we're not most immigrants. Of doing. I never said that. Like, I'm so saying, saying that they okay, were most immigrants. Up. I have. This okay. is why I don't agree with you because we've only had immigration for the last 50 years. Before then, there were everyone did the job. There was no problem with people, with the market. If someone doesn't want to be a cleaner, the wages will go up, and then more people will want to be a cleaner. Anyway, anyway, here's a question. The, you, know, you, no, the, the, you, know, you know, you said that a competition between two races, yeah. Uh, i.e. the whites always win and dominate. Well, I never said that. You said that earlier when we had did a I? Yes, you did. What did I say? Especially in the US and America. I said they? we took America. Yes. Okay, fine. You took America, but generally, the, uh, it's a it's a kind of kind of a, a superior race. I never uh, said. That. But you had some insecurity that the population growth is you know they, they make like, people yeah. and, and it would be kind of like deteriorating because they're not as as smart. I don't know. You may have forgotten it, but 
what if, if this whole kind of multiracial population becomes to a, like growth at the, the, the growth is at, at a speed that's going to take over your kind of bloodline Euro population are, gonna are you going to take an action are you going to take a like a decisive action like a genocide or like no, is this is part of the action i'm taking come out and speaking but like, like but he's yeah. warning so, so what's going to happen? I mean, the, the growth rate within Muslims and other race, races, there's multi-racial uh, marriages happening all over the place. In two, three hundred years, everyone's going to be mixed. You're, you're, not gonna, exactly, you're going to be such you, a minority. You say that because you're, you're obviously, you're, are you European? Where are you from? No, I'm, I'm from Middle East. And you're you definitely say, oh, you're all going to be mixed. Europeans yeah, aren't going to exist think, anymore. I think the, look at it from my perspective. When you say that... Then you're saying, well, then why shouldn't I want to fight to preserve? My How are you going to fight? That's my question. So why shouldn't you could I, choose to have if like you're children? That we're going to be mixed out. Why should Why shouldn't I fight? To How are you going to fight? That's my problem. That, that's my question because I'm, I'm I think you can either speak about it. you can speak about it, but but, but what's my question? Why shouldn't I? If, if we're going to be bred out anyway, like you said, then why shouldn't I? You, you have the right to. So why are you but, but complaining? It's, inter it's interesting that the so people that people the people that represent your table. nation, such as the Queen, you know, her daughter-in-law is black, oh. and and generally speaking, most of the world is moving over. to. Pardon? That baby's we not going to be bought. Yeah, that, so, so something. So, there's going to be another car crash. So the point is, the, 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 the world is moving toward like a multicultural you know, identity. I think everyone's going to be mixed. I, actually, like I, don't, I, don't, I don't actually think, I don't think it is. But you're going to be a minority, I think. Unless I you take some sort of decisive exactly action, what I'm action that, that's going to require some sort of physical genocide. You're just confirming what I'm saying. No, no, it's not true. The world is not going to be mixed. The reality that we face in We're not getting more mixed. We're actually getting more nationalists. I look at recently, like... I'm talking about race. I'm not talking about geographical nationalities. No, people are more and more people, especially young people, are agreeing with me. Like I'm, well, I'm not becoming less. Like, come on, man. So, bro. You're talking come about line. I, think that's the French group I just of hold on, hold on a second, people. hold on a second. I asked you earlier if you see a really attractive <laughs> black girl or like a <laughs> color. Over this, man. And you said what? You said <laughs> yeah, no. I said that I would want not. my family to look like me. No, my, my point is, it's not. It's, it's about bloodline. Why does he have to be really it's attractive? Not about country. <laughs> no, my point. He's a he's a race group, so he's he's paradise. No, no, no. First. So the point is, it's not about geography; it's yeah. about bloodline, yeah. Yeah, which that's, is that's very, his very. Now, here's a question, right? What is the biggest challenge your bloodline faces, and what is the solution you put forward? Yeah, that's I was going to ask that question. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's more constructive. I want to hear this. Solution. Yolo. So, what's the first challenge that your bloodline? Yeah. Your, your, so you've, you've warned us. Well, getting, getting rid of the guilt for their own history was so, the first step. Okay, so, <laughs> so, so how, how that, to do that? How do you? Well, people are guilty of like colonization, slavery, and being themselves. Just white people, white people, people in brush it off. Yeah, yeah, people shouldn't be guilty. That's the first step. <laughs> I'm, I'm not a politician. Like, mm. I'd, all I believe is that different groups exist, and everyone has the right to advocate for the interests of their own group. Like, I've grown up as a minority in London. I don't want my children to be a minority <laughs> in their own city, like in their own school. And yeah. at the end the of the day, the mayor is a Muslim, isn't it? What's going on? Wait, but you know, the, wait, you know, wait. even in London, yeah. white people are not a minority, right? You know that. What? Black people they're, 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 they're more, they're more Bro, white people. Bro, he says fifteen percent. The more white people 40%. in London. Forty percent of where? London. No. Oh, London. London, maybe, but nationally, it's, nationally, it's but like seven American, right? And in a few decades. How do you feel about You're the whites yet. that went to America and then? Well, this is what I'm saying. My, yeah. Looking to the future. Okay. Then Hold on. Do you regret the way oh, that you grew up? What you part? Are you in uh, Michigan or Massachusetts? Massachusetts. Yeah. Yeah, that's why you're late. But I've actually. Wait, Massachusetts was one of the... How do you feel about Americans taking over... How, what do you think about the white Europeans that went to America and um, killed a lot of uh, Indians and the uh, Aboriginal... I don't think anything of You have no emotional regret. I'm proud of it. I'm proud of it. He just told you you want to get rid of their guilt. Okay, so well, where are you from? I'm from the Middle East. I'm half Turkish, half Serbian. So what do you think of when the Ottoman Empire slaughtered many Europeans? That's wrong. I'm, I'm anti-war, I'm not up yeah, for I'm, shedding blood so because you America, think you're superior. But you suggested that earlier America, that, you suggested they, earlier, they, they went out you, su you said earlier, and I ask you clearly, if you, this whole population growth of blacks in the US, you said if uh, they, the, the majority become black, it, be, it will become like Africa. Did you not say that? I, I think that different people Did you not say that? Yes or in no? their own image. I didn't okay. say that. No, so you said it will become not, like Africa. You, I said sorry, that, you said it will no, become like Africa. I never said anything will become like Africa. I said oh, that fine. Now you changed your. No, I said so. different people create fine. societies in their own image. Which right? means, which Europeans means Europeans create European societies, and like blacks Africans will create African societies. Like. Oh, okay. Are you disagreeing with that? Right. So do you so think the so the colored people of the U.S. 
are on uh, similar uh, kind of uh, social and political understanding as the black Africans in Africa. But it's cool anyway, you've let us know that you're going to get yourself in a position where you can, um, you know, control things so that you, your race or ethnicity doesn't die out. And that we, you've let us know that we've got to be prepared. All, all I'm saying is, like, I'm saying is yeah, this is the future. You see how terrorist attacks are increasing all the time. Oh, come on, man. Like it's the, you may like it or not, but at some point there's going to be a strong listen, reaction to it. Listen, do you, want, like, do, you want give, do you want me to give you some strategy and advice? If, what it is is when you're coming out, you're making oppositions of many different people groups. So you're, you're highlighting black people, Asians, um, Muslims, and so forth. That's not me, it's everyone else. No, I'm not saying it's right or wrong. But what I'm saying is, I'm saying give yourself a tangible start. Right? So you've identified that maybe the birth rate within the white community is low. So I would say start, start there. Maybe try to um, have like an app that, that, that allows you to find other Europeans. That's what I do. Yeah, well, you're trying to get No, like I do, that's what I focus on. Yeah, that would be a better starting point, right? And try to like, build those tangible people. challenges that you identify, yeah, as in you've got, you got low birth rates and that concerns you. But when you start, if you're going to talk about other people groups, like Africans, yeah, Asians, so especially do the research, because you, yeah, you, yeah, you, you have to read, you have to read more about about Egypt, yeah. and you've got yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I understand you don't care anyway, so it doesn't yeah. matter. Right? But I'm saying before you talk about other people groups, I'm not going to talk about Europe's history and get it wrong, am I? If I said that um, uh, uh, Germany uh, is, is in Peru, you go, that's not right. Because you're correct, right? So I'm saying, if you go to other people's uh, uh, culture, let's get it right. Because the are going to go what you were doing is, so we're making all these um, arguments to strengthen your worldview. Do you understand? It was strengthening your worldview. And I also, when, please sorry, sorry. And when you when you use all these like mistake and these mistakes to strengthen your worldview, you have defects in it. Do you understand? It undermines your argument. It undermines your argument heavily. So what I'm trying to again, I'm saying that as as a, as, a, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a as a human and as a brother in humanity, you my brother. You my brother in humanity. Exact same thing, no matter what the history was. I still believe. Well, yeah, but then you're your idealist. And those terrorist attacks, they're wrong according to Islam, yeah? It's but, but, right no, 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 I'm, I'm saying this wrong, yes? It's wrong according to Islam, but that's nothing compared to those mad white guys that are shooting up all the kids in the school. If you compare the terrorist attacks in America compared to those crazy guys that are shooting... Do you agree? It's not, it's not, do, do you agree? It's not in comparison, ain't it? So don't worry about this dark skin terrorist, yeah? Listen, it's not whether I have to worry about it. The reality, you may be right or wrong. Is it the no, reality yeah. of this no, it's a fact. Right, let's say, with all the stuff that's going on now, these, yeah. let's say there's another, say, like, last year, there was, a, what, like, three in one week or, like, a few in a month. Let's two, say three that in two months, yeah. You, yeah, let's say that happens again, but worse. Oh. There is going to be a stronger reaction. Can, say people start... The point I'm trying to say is, I'm not sure... If you, become, if you, become, if you uh, get, get yourself... people will start taking sides. If you get yourself in a position of power well, one day, I don't necessarily want it to happen. I don't think it's inevitable. Bro, if you put, get yourself in a position of power, like politics, let's say you become the leader of the, the, the country, what, what would you do? He's 16 years old. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. What? He's the future. No, but what would you do if you had power? What, what do you think of What do you think of Adolf Hitler? What's your view on Hitler? I don't want to talk about that right now. But you did say you support KKK earlier. That was a joke because you oh, said you support the KKK. That's cool. I said yes. Anyway, oh, fine. Cool. I don't support the KKK. Right. Right. To be honest, no, that's just something you projected onto me. I, I just don't know if you just this guy. I asked you a question and you said yes. Do you support? So, do you support? Obama, do you support Osama bin Laden? No. Why would you? Why should I? Well, that's like what you're asking no, me. I answered it, but I don't. I don't joke around with my. For me, answers. I think what it is is there's a, there's a guy who's saying things that people are not used to hearing. Yeah. But it, there's a value there, and if he he has a genuine concern, now how you got that concern is interesting because that needs to be studied. But he has a concern, he's pushing forward. Yeah, I would say never tie your emotions to ideas. Yeah, mm. hear what people have to say. Yeah, of course. Do you know what I mean? That's what it is. That's what I can say. Anyway, it was nice talking to you. Yeah. Thanks. 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 Okay. Oh, okay.